He'd seen Schnitzel and Piero dominate early in the sale, but Fastnet Rock flexed his muscle in what was yet another highly productive session at this year's Magic Millions Gold Coast yearling sale. The champion sire produced his first seven-figure lot of the sale when one of his daughters sold for $1 million. Emerging Victorian trainer Brent Stanley bought his dearest ever yearling when he snapped up the filly from the family of Reduce Choice on behalf of stable clients. She's a package racehorse. She's, she's, you know, you're not just buying a page when you go and look at her. You're buying, she's, she's a grouse horse. You know, she's a top shelf horse. She's a great mover, great athletic horse, uh, good bone, good muscle. Everything I look for in a horse. So, you know, you, you see a lot of big price horses don't really make it to their next level, but most of the time they're buying the page where, you know, the page sold itself, but you also got to price the horse. And I thought the horse was well priced after the page. The Fastnet Rock filly became the sixth horse of the sale to realise at least $1 million, joining Schnitzel and Piero, who were the stars of the middle two days. Schnitzel's $1.6 million colt out of Mirror Mirror was the highest priced lot of the week, edging out Piero, whose half-brother to Vancouver sold for $1.5 million on day three, the same day that Piero had a filly, also from the family of Reduce Choice, go for $1.4 million. Snitzel was again productive in the final session, producing a colt out of Very Cherry who sold for $460,000. I'm Invincible continued his strong finish to the sale with a colt selling for $380,000, while Commands had his highest price lot of the sale, a filly out of Swansea who sold for $340,000. The day four results helped contribute to a sale that had an outstanding clearance rate and gross and average figures that far exceeded 2015. It's been a... Fantastic four days. The night session tonight, we're closing out at $115,646,000, which is the highest grossing yearly sale held in the Southern Hemisphere since 2008. Uh, the sale's up 26%, which in anyone's business is a fantastic result. The average is $195,679, up 15% on, on previous years. So, um, it's, it really has been a very, very good sale. Yeah, and a strong clearance rate as well. And feature of the week, we saw quite a few million-dollar lots, including a Fastnet Rock filly today. Yeah, Fastnet Rock filly topped tonight out of um, 10 Carat Rock. Uh, million dollars. It was our $6 million horse for the sale, uh, which we are over the moon about. It's a sale now that we can prove that we get well and truly into the seven-figure mark but also have multiple numbers of them and, and the confidence that the breeders showed us to give us those quality horses and to turn around and sell them as well as we have um, is very satisfying from a Magic Millions point of view. The main book might be complete but there's still plenty more horses to go through the ring at this year's Gold Coast Magic Millions yearling sale with book two to commence from 10am Sunday.